It's Groundhog Day here in South Central Texas. Another July Saturday with temperatures in the triple digits. No team, though, hotter in the Western Conference than San Antonio FC. They open week 20 of the USL season against the Miami FC here tonight on Bally Sports. It has been a tough year for this club, Hayden. Yeah, that's tough. Three wins at San Antonio, sitting at three losses. So on paper, we know that the way this should go. It's us against everybody else. Nobody counts us in. We have nothing to lose tonight. Guys, just look around you. There's so much quality. Play with your quality. Stay, stick with the basics. Defend together, attack together, and for sure there's going to be three points in the other game. All right? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Saturday in July, San Antonio FC and the Miami FC here on Bally Sports. Back out. Miami will regroup. Here in the midfield, Aiden Stanley with a good ball in and just missing his target. Miami will regroup back in the midfield. It's Aiden Stanley will put it over the top. And on the far side, Florian below with the service intended for Murphy, defended away by San Antonio. Christian Sordo will come over to play this one. Sordo, formerly of RGV, the players on this Miami roster who have seen San Antonio in the past. Here's Segbers in the box with a chance. Puts it across the face of goal. The save by far, the rebound put in. And it's a good goal for the Miami FC here in the seventh minute. The visitors have come out and they catch San Antonio napping on the back side and put it in for a one nil advantage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there. It looked like maybe a miscommunication. Miami was able to capitalize it. Sordo and Segbers initially on the creation, and it was Ryan Telfer who puts it into the back of the net. Here's Nacho. Great turn, the hard challenge from behind by Cabral. They are handing out a yellow, and if it's Paco Craig, it's going to be a second yellow, and he's going to be sent off. I, th I think he's got that wrong. I mean, the final final tackle was not by Paco. So Craig sent off. And Miami will play with 10 the rest of the match. Jorge Hernandez. Oh, another great ball through. And all the Washington, he just lost his footing. Washington, returning Mitchell Zayner. Rinasu here. He can score from this distance. Tries one with the left foot that doesn't get through. And that will take us to halftime here at Toyota Field. Miami up a goal on the road at Toyota Field where San Antonio has not lost since the 2nd of April of last year. Stand in, bro. Make a foul, stand in front of the ball. Play quick. Stand There's space. We got to move for each other. We got to move for each other. Call my head, top to prevent. Yes, I get everybody's words up. Oh, we're just a natural sign up. Yes, it's shit. Yes, it's out of order. Yes, it's a disgrace. Don't fucking care. If you want to care about it, it's going to get you one day. Okay, if you want to take your family, you're going That's what I'm talking about right now. It's going to be six minutes there. It's going to be an eight, nine minute injury time. So plan for that. You know that it's coming. Because we're going to have to manage the game and give up those fucking minutes. San Antonio down a goal, but up a man as we begin in the second half. Miami FC trying to procure their first road win of the year. Well done there on the outside. Shannon Gomez trying to return it back. Hernandez brings it down. Hernandez rushed off the ball. We play on. Trying to search out Dylan. Well done there from Aiden Stanley. A giveaway, unfortunately, there from Velo. Dylan up top. Olawase, just not enough real estate there to get it off. Bailone, what a save there from Zendejas. Florian Velo play it out wide. Stanley slips the ball in, is defended out, tries to drop it off, and again the final product just does not come to fruition. 
foul there, and maybe Garcia is going to go into the books here in the third. That's a challenge there for Jorge Hernandez. And whoa. Hernandez was serving yellow. Bill Cabral wanting a red. Jimmy Gomez went into that by Good service across the base. One save. Fantastic save. And a second from Tadejas. Phenomenal from the keeper. Wow, this wow. The summer heat matches the ever-boiling intensity in the Easter Conference playoff race as Loudon returns to action against Miami FC in a postseason push collision. Both of these sides, Miami FC and Loudon United, sitting below the playoff line once again. Eight teams make it to the postseason in both the East and the Western Conference in USL Championship. And with everybody pushing for that number eight spot, these two teams need three points today as they both look to knock the other down in route to making it to the playoffs. <laughs> Salazar slipping through, the flag stays down. Salazar shoots, and despite it ripping through hands, it goes in anyway. Michael Salazar blasts it home. And the visiting side have taken the advantage. Throws it up, the deflection, it spills through. And Loudon find an equalizer. Salazar, maybe for a second, sets up this strike. And it's dragged wide by Rivas. This one slides through for Telfer. Telfer with the step. Telfer shoot. Sent it straight to the hands of Faro. Now Salazar breaking the other way. Trying to beat his man. Takes a step. Plays it to Rivas. Rivas to Telfer. Telfer takes the shot. And Telfer backs it home. The advantage reclaimed by Miami. Doorstep. And they break through. Couple movements, shot, deflected here. Ryan leaves it. El Medcar shoots! And that's an excellent save from Zendejas. Coming the other way. Telfer galloping as he goes. Finds Rivas. Connects with Murphy. Murphy takes a shot. And Faro able to get behind it. He gets to Landry. Back to Coanda. Coanda gets denied. It is a new look Miami FC as of late. Two weeks ago, no road wins on the season. Two weeks later, two straight. Six points on the road trip, and now they get to go home. Feeling their fortunes on this season have drastically changed. 2-1, their victory over Loudoun United on the road at Segra Field. Back to Miami, back to work. You heard this? We'll hear it again.